Okay, so I looked it up. The, the other two wolves are spices, but Bergamo is like just a place in Italy. Is it because he's like the leader of the pack, basically? That like, he has to be special? But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss from Shinobi. We have episode 81 of our Dragon Ball Super Watch today. And we are at the final match of the Grand Zeno Expo. It's Goku versus Bergamo. Uh, we've won both matches already. Boo and Gohan came through. So there's no way that we just completely like one shot all of these guys, right? Or does it go that easily? I mean, they are technically the weakest universe. It was revealed last episode. So hopefully, I mean, it's Goku. He should win, right? We're going to hop right into it. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a sub. And let's get started. Yeah, dude. We can't lose, right? <laughs> so you're Bergamo, is that right? Bergamo. His tail wagon. He's excited for the match. Yeah, the fighters, knowing that everything's on the line, they'll give it their all. Up there. Up oh, here we go. I am the eldest brother of the unstoppable. Oh, here we go. Bergamo, the crusher. Yeah, you're so special. How can it be true when this man's level is far below any of his brothers? He doesn't deserve to fight. <laughs> the way Goku's standing there. We wouldn't be facing universal destruction if he hadn't requested this tournament in the first place. Uh, oh, I mean, oh, well, he's gonna have everybody target Goku. On behalf of all them, I'm going to crush you. That was what all of this was leading up to was just him saying i'll crush you okay bro let's see it you're talking some big game after i defeat this joke i beg you to receive oh he's gonna say if i can beat goku oh wait well said, my boy. but he doesn't stand a chance against goku i don't think really knows how to win hearts and minds. he knows how to speak yeah he's convincing everyone here that goku that goku's the, the, the bad guy yeah the anti-goku sentiment will clearly be on the rise <laughs> <laughs> everybody wants someone to blame especially in something dire like this that mortal should have left well enough alone oh well, they are all the against him now do you have an answer for bergamo your majesties but zeno has so much confidence in goku he's gonna be like goku won't lose how's it feel to have the whole cosmos rooting against you <laughs> he bother me at all if everybody's against me, that makes it more of a challenge. And, and he loves that. Let's talk. Oh, yes, oh shoot. We agree to your request. Oh. <laughs> this makes things interesting. Too bad Goku is going to stomp him. If he wins this match, no universe will be destroyed for losing the tournament of power. Dang, dude. Wait, Goku what? should just throw this. Be advised. <laughs> If we get the censure intentionally, oh, revoke, the Omni Kings will feel compelled to obliterate all 12 universes. With oh my gosh, dude. Goku's gonna piss everybody off even more. He's gonna win, and then they're gonna hell hate him because it's all gonna be on the brink again. How dire the situation, Goku finds a way to enjoy himself in a fight. I love this twist about it, though. It makes it so much funnier. Top, that's the guy. What is your opinion of this? I want to hear Top speak more. I first need to see him fighting all out. Bro! Then can I give you my appraisal of this? Bro, it's like butter! Okay, Champa. Goku's just a weird guy who weird things. I don't yes, at least Champa's honest. How's it going fast, universe? You must be eating this up. <laughs> it's rather nice being exempted. Yeah, their their universe is strong enough. That's one of the many benefits of a universe having excellent divine guidance. Yes, they're so ugh about it. He looks like an onion. We didn't even know that mortal levels were a thing. But I okay. Say, we're just delighted to be exempt. Oh, they're so gross. Stupid spoiled exempt. You yeah, for real. I want to fight them just to to show them who's boss. Even though we'd probably lose to them based off the power levels calculated. I feel like Bergama doesn't stand a chance if Goku's actually trying. I don't know, maybe I'm underestimating him, but his brother's already lost. If anybody was going to lose out of these three, I think it would have been Gohan. But Gohan pulled it out because of his willpower. And Goku hasn't even gone Super Saiyan yet, so he's just trying to figure Bergamo out before he has to. I think he will have to, too. I love the, how fast these wolves kick, too. Well, that was close. Huh. Is this what he wanted, though? Hit me. As soon as you do, you'll understand why in the ninth you... Okay. Okay. Hang on. What is he doing? That's a bad plan when you're up against... Maybe he, like, absorbs the hit and he gets stronger. Well, what are you waiting for? Punch me. Fine. Goku should just go blue and then just give it his all. Oh. He's just taking it. Bergamo the Crusher? I, I don't know. Oh, my gosh. It enlargens him based off punches. Maybe you just have to overload him. But I'm guessing there has to be a limit. I mean, it looked like he was kind of shaken up for a reason. Goku should just hit him until he goes too big and explodes. 
God. Okay, the crusher because it gets so big, he just crushes anything. Come on, Goku. Stop messing around. You're just the kind of guy I've been waiting to <laughs> Yeah, Goku loves this. It's like a punching bag human. Or wolf. God, he is a unit. I like his design the most out of, out of the three. The trio of destruction. He also is going to get so big that he's going to be too slow. Like, is there a limit to how big he grows? This is a cool concept, though. I've been in a lot of battles. And using your opponent's power isn't that rare. <laughs> Actually true. I'm glad Goku said that. That yeah, he's too big for his own good. Goku's going to be like a little... He's getting too big. Is nobody else realizing this? No, no, no. It's just evasive maneuvers. He's not running. Wait, is he laughing? What do you mean is Goku laughing? He's fighting. Of course he's having fun. Probably because Kai doesn't realize that like Goku actually does stand a chance and he knows exactly what he's doing and what he's gotten himself into. I feel like that was obvious though. He's going to hit the ceiling. He's literally going to go through the roof. Oh, he tripped him. We just throw him out of the ring. The more blind spots you have for me to explore. Yeah. You better watch out. I don't think it's smart for your pup to hit that wolf guy. Mr. Satan, have power. faith. He knows what he's doing. For this tournament is to fight the strongest guy. Yeah, he loves this. He lives for it. I'm so tired of these Saiyans making every battle there in the Like this big needs. cinematic. Yeah. <laughs> harder than it needs to be. Beerus should have seen the cell fight, bro. He really should have. That was like the definition of harder than it needed to be. Now he's blue. Okay, you really don't stand a chance, Bergamo. Power is equal to that of a god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shut <laughs> up, man. Exactly. You 1 million percent did. Why do you think they were saving him for last? Goku single-handedly raises the power level of, of the, that universe. Bergamo's shaking in his boots, bro. Your light show doesn't scare me. Wow. I'm actually shocked that he's not intimidated. He's barely even gotten a hit in on Goku. How many punches does a Kamehameha wave count for, too? Oh, my God. He's going to kill this wolf, bro. The soundtrack is beautiful. Wolf Gang Penetrator. Now, that's a sick move name. It's beautiful. Oh, my God. He actually crushed him. Rest in peace, Bergamo. Didn't know you very long, though, man. Wait, he's small. Wait. What? Oh, I kind of had hoped that he would grow so big he like popped or something. I don't know. Is that like dark? The Zeno Expo is hereby 3 0, baby! Seven universe undefeated! Easy! Our friend Goku is very strong. <laughs> Zeno's eyes are really dilated. What the hell? I wanted to see your true power out there, but I'm just fighting against myself. Oh my god, the disrespect! And then fight me with only that. You gotta show me what you can do, okay? Imagine that's all he has. He's like, yeah, man, I'll show you. I'll do everything. To make sure your vile universe is the first to go. Yeah, okay, Bergamo. We'll win this thing, you'll see. Bring it on, guys. <laughs> Everybody's at risk of destruction. Bring it on. I'll clobber every single one of them. Woo! <laughs> I love Goku so much, man. Did the expo excite you for the tournament proper? Yeah, it's a little warm up. When's the tournament start? Dragon Ball Super? Okay, so when does it start? Yes. Okay, here we go. Some outlining. The Null Realm will be home to this Whoa. It looks like a, a spinning dial thing. Of the ring, they lose. Knock them out. What if you knock out your opponent in the ring? Then push them out to complete the <laughs> Decided to add a few other prohibitions. Oh. Number one. No weapons? Outside weapons is okay, good. You are not allowed to kill. No killing, all right. Any advanced techniques that enable flight will not work in the null realm. Oh, you can only move. Okay, interesting. There will be a time limit of 100. A time limit? Translated to Earth time. 48 minutes. That's so long. That seems like a rather long time. Yes. It's going to take forever. Yeah, that's what I was saying from the beginning. Oh, what? Every fighter will compete against everyone else at the exact same time. In other words, the tournament is Yo, what? That's like a battle royale. Yo, that's sick. Oh, I'm I'm game. I'm even more excited now. The ring we're constructing is quite large. Oh, that's high. 48 minutes for everybody to be knocked out. Teamwork does not strike me as Goku. Gohan's all about that kind of stuff. Yeah. We'll be fine. Right, son? Right, son? You know. Gee, thanks, Dad. No pressure. Yeah, for real. 
real. Beerus is like clawing his eyes out in the background. I kind of wish destroyers could fight Loki. Fate of our entire universe rests on the outcome of a glorified riot. <laughs> glorified riot. Okay. Excuse me. Oh, Tom's on the move. Oh shoot. I want to see what he looks like. They're covering him for a reason. I feel like he's like a Saiyan or something. Forgive me for barging forward like this. Oh. Uh, the, uh, uh, I don't think he's a Saiyan. Greetings, Goku. That is a I'd tight like suit. A with you if I may. And a big mustache. Know this, sir. Yo, he's a unit. Eleventh. The gallant and handsome pride, pride troopers. troopers. I am the of oh. I am top. Papa. Fight me, Goku. What? Right now. In what? And I warn you, if you fight with he wants to figure Goku out. Just fist. Dude, I love Top. Eleventh universe. Many a Solomo. Oh wait, he's a cool guy. He's a good guy. Yeah. This will be fun. And just like that, Goku faces. So they're just gonna fight as like a warm up for the tournament. The eleventh universe named Top. It seems like he wants to just kind of figure him out before the actual tournament. Next time on Dragon Ball Super. Finally, we get to see what he looks like, too. But again, I don't know why they were hiding him because I don't... Should I recognize him? Should I know who he is? Maybe it's just because he has a very flashy design It wanted to have a reveal, which I understand. But I, I like his whole, like, enigma. He is very superhero-like. The way he talks, the way he heroifies himself, the, the outfit especially is very superhero-esque. But there we have it. The Zeno Expo is concluded, but it seems like we have sort of an encore bonus match. But dog, I like I said, I'm so much more excited for the tournament now i already was but i was even saying like couldn't that go on for too long or I feel like it could burn out based off of just uh, like one-on-ones over and over and over and over again but a 48 minute complete battle royale is insane guys that's been it for episode 81 of my dragon ball super watch so do drop a sub on the channel if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one peace peace